I think that this is a really mean question. Uh, and so if you got it wrong, I don't want you to worry about it. I don't think the SAT does a whole lot of this. Um, basically, when we have these vocab questions, what we want to do is trust our instincts um, and say, okay, well, if it's a word that I would use, it's probably a good word. Um, so what I would say here is, uh, okay, it, it's more concentrated Greek yogurt, contains slightly more protein per serving, thereby helping people stay full for longer periods of time, right? Full, that's how I describe, you know, not needing more food, right? Like, I'm full. And so what that does is that leads us probably to the word that is kind of similar, the word fulfilled. This is what a lot of people pick. Um, it's wrong, mostly because <sighs> fulfilled is like, I don't even know how to describe this, like, it is a bigger emotion it is not a hunger emotion. It is a uh, satisfied with life emotion, right? If you're fulfilled, you're, you're, you're living the life you want to live. You have a, a fulfilling career that makes you happy or you have a family that makes you feel, feel fulfilled because you have all this love to give and you're giving it to them. It's this really big, weighty kind of emotion. So we're talking about Greek yogurt. You're not fulfilled because you ate a yogurt. You're full, but fulfilled is much, much bigger. And so it just doesn't really fit with this situation. Now, sufficient also is probably a word you know, and, and hopefully know that it doesn't really fit here. If something is sufficient, it's like barely good enough. That kind of has, you know, not a great connotation for what they're trying to say here. Um, it's also weird to describe a person as like feeling sufficient, like that doesn't really fit. Um, and so this one is more of an instinctual thing, like that that word doesn't really fit um, with, with, with what we're describing. So hopefully you can get rid of that. Then we have two words that maybe we don't really know the definitions of very well, uh, satiated and complacent. Well, if you are complacent, it means you're kind of lulled into a false sense of security. So a lot of times maybe uh, you have a couple good grades on some tests in school. So, you know, you're doing great in math and you've got a couple good grades. So you get complacent and then a big test comes up and you don't study because you feel really good about your grade and then you do worse because you didn't study. So complacency is not necessarily a good thing. It, it means that you are, um, you are fulfilled mentally, but it doesn't mean that you're actually doing what you're supposed to do. Um, it has nothing to do with food, is the point. Whereas satiated is a word that actually has a lot to do with food. It basically means satisfied um, in this case. So uh, it kind of fits in that way. Uh, and, and I would still think it kind of sounds a little weird uh, after you eat some yogurt to say, oh, I feel very satisfied. I, I think that that's weird. I also think it's kind of weird to say that you feel satiated, though. Um, so... That's why I say don't worry about this one. This is a very rare case in the SAT where we end up picking a very advanced word uh, for these vocab questions when we usually want to pick more familiar words that we ourselves would use. And we want to stay away from the kind of more advanced words. So if you got rid of choice A, because you're like, no, 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 that's too fancy, that's too pedantic, um, I understand and, and I, I think that you know that sucks that you use the correct strategy to get the wrong answer. Um, but that's, you know, just, that's the way it works is sometimes the strategy kind of fails and it happens infrequently and we shouldn't let that um, make us doubt the strategy, but, you know, just try your best. And if you do sense a place where something isn't really matching up with your expectations, you might need to adjust. This is that kind of question, but the odds of you seeing something this weird again are, are kind of low. So don't worry about it. Let's move on.